Hello everyone, welcome back. You're watching Empyrean Galactic Survival episode 194. I'm Enigmaeus and today we're continuing with the USS Discovery build. Uh, we've still got a lot to do. This, this thing's really big. It's, it's a very big ship. But one of the things that I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to do was get these uh, little strips uh, lit up on the, the sides of the main hull just because uh, it, it's kind of fun and we can use all the light we can get around here even with our little satellite ship sitting there doing nothing except for shining four spotlights where we try to work. It's, it's a good thing to have a little bit extra. So the whole idea here is I want a texture with a plain shiny texture on the inside uh, that the light is going to bounce off of and then the external textures we're just going to match it up with um, what I've been doing elsewhere just kind of when I'm goofing around and the whole idea um, with this was originally just to have the lights and then bounce the lights off the shiny bit and that would be it so once I got everything textured I switched to white and started painting the inside white obviously with the idea being that the color of the light would come from the lights themselves but then I realized that we were talking in the last episode about how the ship is so large and the draw distance on the lights isn't um, anywhere near far enough to be able to see from one end of the ship to the other all of the lights that are on so I decided to paint it a light blue similar to the color that I made the lights so that even if you're too far away to have the lights visible you can still kind of see the general idea of what color it would be it doesn't have the intensity of the lights themselves of course but it's better than white uh, or you know not having any color back there at all just having it a dark color so that's that's what I did that was the the logic and the reasoning behind changing the color from white to blue and now we've got this um, whole back section of the ship that I've got some ideas and all I can really do is start putting those ideas uh, into place and get things roughed in as far as I can. I mean, there are times when I don't like making changes after the fact just because I think from a, a, um, a viewing point of view, it's not that interesting to see me work over the same part of a ship two, three or more times. But then there are other times when I know the best way to make progress is to just get some stuff in place. Uh, as I've said so many times before, let it sit for a day or two and then see what comes to mind when it comes to things that we could change to make it a little bit more interesting or a little bit uh, better than what we originally came up with. So that's kind of the goal at this point is to get things roughed in. But one of the things that I noticed um, was this upper section here and it was all 90 degree transitions. It was all across the top. The whole thing all the way down was 90 degrees. In some places, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not opposed to it as a general rule, but it is one of those things where I look at it and there there are times when it just seems very, very dull. So I decided in this case to spend a little bit of time reworking it and putting sort of a softer edge, 45 degree slope for a couple of blocks instead of just the, the straight 90 degree uh, transition. And I'm glad that I did. I think that I'll be uh, in the long term much happier with it that way. And it doesn't, it doesn't really take long. What tends to take a while is um, removing all of the stuff, of course. Once, once you build it, you spend all this time putting in these blocks and then you have to remove them before you can rework them. We are in survival mode, even though I've got some console commands uh, enabled to make things just a little bit uh, more straightforward in terms of producing the videos. But it's still um, one of those things here, like removing this long strip of blocks um, it, it takes a while. This, this ship is big. It, it's a very big ship. So in order to facilitate having the right kind of transition at the front of the ship after we put that softer edge all the way down, I had to rework that leading edge. And it's another one of those things where I'm glad that, I'm, that I did because the way that I had left it wasn't really quite sitting too well with me. I kind of had a feeling that I was going to be changing it at some point, but I hadn't necessarily decided exactly what I would do. And I think that change that we just made went a long way to correcting it. So that's another win-win situation. It's interesting sometimes how everything is interconnected. And if you change one thing, 
it can impact something else even without necessarily even originally planning for that to happen um sometimes it's not in a good way but in this case it wasn't a good way so that's kind of um serendipitous maybe would be one way to describe it uh, so we're making great progress in terms of the amount of distance we're covering and putting things in place and for the most part feeling like um, we're headed in the right direction with it, not literally, but the things that I'm looking at when I kind of step away a little bit or in this case float away to look at things from a broader perspective, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with um, not only what's there, but also the potential. There's already some things that I've seen that I've looked at and said, that's definitely going to change. We're going to add some more detail there. We're going to make some slight modifications there. But one area that's going to be uh, seeing some pretty substantial modifications is the area right here where I'm working. Ironically, the part that I'm putting in now is going to be gone for the next episode, um, but only because this is another example of putting things in place and letting them sit and then kind of evaluating how we feel about them. Uh, I noticed as I was editing that this back section was going to need a little bit of work because we've got this um, under section basically which is the main hull for the ship that's moving along very nicely but we've got the the slope you think of it as like the spine of the ship the back of the the ship is coming uh, down off the saucer section where does it and where does it terminate what is it connecting to and how is it connecting to that are sort of the questions that I'm trying to answer as I'm looking at it because again looking at it and thinking um, things maybe aren't quite lining up the way that I had hoped they would and coming up with an idea based on um, some of the other ships that I've seen in the series um, some of the other things that probably I've done with other ships it just sort of comes together and this area that I'm working on now was I mean, it, it, I'm not unhappy with the way it turned out. It's more just the the way that that top section, that spine, transitions into the rest of the hull is what I'm really thinking about. And right now, um, I have to do some other things before something like this would work. But I decided we've got everything sort of converging and everything coming together as we're working our way towards the very back end of the ship. Maybe it would be interesting to have one section um, that's kind of flaring out. And that was sort of the basis um, the, the the line of thought that brought me to what I ended up doing on this back end and then I decided okay well we did the flare out now it's time to kind of bring it all back together again and the end result just looks like there's something interesting happening back there but then someone threw a blanket over it and that's that's kind of what it looks like so I have an idea and we're gonna we're gonna start putting it into place in the next episode for how we're gonna manage this whole transition um, on top of the main hull section, making that top uh, curvature come down and sort of connect to everything in a way that I think will be much much better than what I have in place now. It would be almost impossible to describe it uh, now without being able to at least show you something by the end of the video to illustrate what I was talking about. So for now, we're just kind of filling in the last handful of details. Whenever we start filling in like these sheets of like blocks, we go through so many combat steel blocks. It is uh, disgusting. I think we use about 60 blocks. I want to say 64, but I don't have the exact math. But for every one panel that we place, you have to remember we've got the same number of blocks going on the other side of the the mirror plane so there, there's a lot of blocks being consumed just getting all of this taken care of and this is kind of the part where I'm okay with things going in and looking a little bit plain like we just put in all of those just flat sections those are the areas where we can go by later and add cosmetic details uh, just to liven things up a little bit without having to worry too much about the structure the the big thing right now that I was actually finding as I was getting towards this back end is Getting the scale right because we're running out of space for this thing We want to make sure that it's large enough that it looks like it matches with the saucer section um, Without making it so large that it looks ridiculous 
uh, and also keeping in mind that we also have to get the nacelles to fit in and around these things at some point and we uh, those are going to be quite large as well so I'll let you watch the last little bit here we're just going to kind of fill in this tail section you can see it's kind of tapering in back towards the, the end of the ship where the shuttle bay will eventually go next episode like I said we're going to rework that top section and get that transition taken care of uh, once and for all and then we'll be in a position to be working on things like the structural connections to the nacelles the shuttle bay and um, the final exterior details I don't know how much detail I'm going to be um, investing in the interior of the ship but I'm, I'm not really thinking that far ahead at this point so if you want to be notified about the next and future episodes in this series the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media links for social media are always in the information section below the video feel free to leave your comments and feedback thanks for watching guys and take care